Welcome to Daily Overdose. First of all, look up. And then breathe. Think about what you want. Think about how you can help and who can help you. And then start thinking about how. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Surround yourself with people that are going to give you more options, more opportunities and more touches of favor. Surround yourself with people that feed you and feed them. It'll be amazing the difference in your life. Take my advice, ask for help. Have an open mind. I promise you each day will become easier. And pretty soon, you too will be an overnight success. The first thing I tell people is you can't find outside of you what you can't find inside of you. So many of us as we explore within, we have to have the faith that there's something bigger than us. What are you doing today that you like? What are you doing today that you don't like? Start thinking about what you want and continue every day enjoying that consistently, persistently in the pursuit of your potential. That's the best advice I can give anyone. Ask for help. Everyone wants to be at ease. You already are at ease. Let's figure out putting you at dissies. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am worthy. I just got to figure out what I'm doing to interfere with it. And this hate is interfering with my truth, my potential, my love, the light and the lessons of the journey that I've been blessed with, with full appreciation, acknowledgement and the ability to dream and to ask for more. Hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm going to change the world. There's no limitations in the future. Ask for help. That's the best advice I can give anyone. When you ask for help, everything extraordinary happens. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, they're injected into our system, which makes us happy. It's a proof, a biochemical proof of, hey, you're doing the right thing. For me, it's mathematical in the way that it works. We just need to listen to what's interfering with our ease. I tell myself, okay, the ego is from our brain here to protect us, right? It allows us to fight for it. We flee from it. We feed it in order to create more of it. And so when I know the ego's purpose, my life becomes easier. The ego is necessary. That's a long drop down there. Our ego tells us if you and I went down there right now and I said, hey, let's jump down on the rocks. Our ego would say, run. Don't do it. It was my ego that said, if you can look up, you can get up. It's that fear, right? That allows you to get up, get back up. But fear uses about 90% of your fuel to get you up. So we want to limit the amount of fear that we use because eventually we need inspiration. We need to access the power we're given, not create power or acceleration with fear. So understanding ego, it, knowing it edges goodness out of our life, it edges gold out of our life, it edges God out of our life, whatever you think it does, but it will fuel us real quick to get up, get back up, get started. I need to be an expert at identifying fear. It's the greatest practice I feel, if you have faith and believe in what I'm talking about, to utilize energy in this correct manner. So if I can identify fear, I can use it to get up, back up, when I get knocked out or knocked down. So you don't resist it. You don't try to fight it, go over it, under it, through it, around it. You don't have to lie to it, manipulate it and cheat it. You don't have to deny it. Simply practice identify when you have a need to be right or a need to be offended or a need to be separate or inferior or superior. How about just anxious, frustrated, guilty, resentful or angry? If we can identify when we feel the ego, 
intuitively how the ego is interfering with our ease. And instead of resisting it, just stop. And then breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Drop down to center, drop into the flow, drop into ease. Remind, remember, and recollect the source. Remind with, recollect with, remember with the source. If you can do that, stopping and dropping, you now can roll into what you want today. Who you can help and who can help you, how best to get that done, reprioritize, applying your why in a trajectory to the unlimited, infinite possibilities and probabilities of the future in a trajectory of probably what you think you want, but will receive even bigger and better faster. So utilizing the ego as a point of understanding of do I need to use the ego for this or am I identifying the ego so I can stop, drop and roll? Knowing that the ego puts our mind, body and soul on fire to get us up, get us back up. So when you're on fire, what do you do? Stop, drop and roll. This is the secret to what I teach in a very methodical way to increase the flow of the truth, your potential, love, light and lessons that allow you to do whatever you dream of or even better. See, prioritization, the antidote to procrastination and feeling overwhelmed is a matter of understanding what's important to you. When you have your non-negotiables, you already get the most important things every day done. But now, according to circumstance, I get the next most important thing and I can make decisions like this because I already know what's important personally, experientially, giving and receiving wise every day in a trajectory that scares the shit out of everyone else, even me, for the future because it's unlimited. I have all my prioritized things guaranteed done every day. I'll always be healthy. I'll always have great family and I'll always utilize my time effectively. Now, all I got to do is have what I want, who I can help, who can help me, how best to get that done. And then I'll be able to prioritize because I always know what's important to me and I always know how to reprioritize it. There's so many people that are full of hate, condition, judgment, ego. They don't understand they're in search of something they already have. Most people will tell you when they're in that mindset, I need to get more money. I need to get more healthy. I need to get more worthy. I, I need to get more happy because they're full of hate. But is it worth my time? Therefore, I'm feeding that which feeds me, not getting bled. And we're capable to live in an infinite world of unlimited possibilities, probabilities and perspectives in the future. Pretty soon, you too will be an overnight success. Think about what you want. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss another video.